my passion is for helping other people in terms of reconstruction. Um, it's, it's my goal to provide them with the highest quality of care to make sure that they're provided also with all their options. I think one big mistake here in Virginia and all over the world is that individuals who come for reconstruction, especially breast reconstruction, are not given all the options available to them today. And why should a woman be devoid of all the options when it's their body uh, and they deserve the best and they deserve their choice? They should never be pushed towards a surgery. They should never be told that they only have certain options. Uh, they should be, uh, all options should be available for every woman uh, because the breast cancer journey is one, number one, most emotional. And number two, it's, it's a large part of who a woman is. It's a very personal thing. Uh, and they want to get uh, themselves back to the way they were before. And that's what I want to do as a plastic surgeon. I want to help them get back to their pre-mastectomy uh, self, not only physically and in terms of looks, but also emotionally. And that's what I provide. I make sure they spend copious amount of times with all my patients because I do. I truly care about them. I make sure that they know all the options. I make sure that they know all the advantages and disadvantages of each of the procedures. Uh, and then I make sure that they have a smooth transition into the surgery period. And it's through all these uh, avenues, especially in the post-operative uh, course as well, to know that I'm there with them uh, through the process, that I'm not just a surgeon. I'm there as a team member. I'm there as someone that's personally involved in their care and also personally involved in their lives. I get to know many of my patients very well, them and their families, and I feel a strong rapport with them. And it's important for the breast reconstruction process and breast cancer process in general to have uh, that type of uh, uh, community and that type of relationship with their surgeon. And, and it's not only that personal aspect, but it's also uh, my expertise in terms of surgery, why I think uh, patients come to me through all throughout all over the East Coast uh, is because, you know, I provide that personalized care. And then I also provide my expertise with over 10 years of plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery techniques. Uh, as a, a trained uh, surgeon from the Johns Hopkins Hospital, I worked up at the Avon Breast Cancer Center. And at the Avon Breast Cancer Center, I performed all the different avenues of breast reconstruction. This involved the most cutting edge, especially microsurgery techniques to be able to provide uh, excellent results after post-mastectomy. And in doing that, actually at Johns Hopkins, I did a lot of research in breast reconstruction, not only through the microvascular surgery, but also uh, through writing textbooks and writing manuscripts. I wrote some of the, uh, the best uh, chapters in uh, textbooks about the newer techniques in breast reconstruction. And it's these type of techniques that I want to be able to uh, tell that the, the country and the world that are available to all women and that they should not just have uh, their surgeons tell them that implants are the only choice or so-and-so is the only choice. It should be that you have the decision, that you should be told the pluses and minuses of each surgery, and that this, the, uh, the individual with breast cancer makes the decision, not their family, not their surgeon, not anyone else, but definitely them by themselves.